This video is about making salts. Now salts are made in reactions where metals, metal oxides or hydroxides or metal carbonates are reacted with an acid. And there are three different types of acid that you would commonly use in the lab. They are hydrochloric, sulfuric and nitric. And with um, these reactions it's really important to see what acid you are using because different acids make different salts. Hydrochloric acid makes chlorides, sulfuric acid makes sulfates and nitric acid makes nitrates. In this example you've got a metal reacting with an acid that would make a salt plus hydrogen. In this example we've got a metal oxide plus an acid making a salt plus water or a metal hydroxide plus acid making a salt plus water. Finally a metal carbonate plus acid will make a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. Now these three are examples of neutralization reactions and we can tell this because in each of them water is being produced. If you're interested in finding out more about neutralization reactions watch my video on neutralization. So to have a look at some examples we have a look at the general equation for this one which is metal plus acid makes a salt plus hydrogen. If we were to substitute a metal and an acid we could have for example magnesium for the metal reacting with we could have any one of these three acids I'm just going to choose hydrochloric and we make our salt plus hydrogen now the salts are actually really easy to name all you do is write the name of the metal and then follow this rule if it's a hydrochloric acid write chloride if it's sulfuric acid write sulfate if it's nitric acid write nitrate so here we would write magnesium chloride plus hydrogen if we were to change this acid and instead have magnesium plus nitric acid we would follow these rules we'd make magnesium nitrate this time plus hydrogen so the hydrogen bit doesn't change we're just changing the salt and as a final example if we were to use the sulfuric acid we would have magnesium plus sulfuric acid which would make magnesium sulfate plus hydrogen. So with these salts you just use the first word as the metal that you're using and the second word will depend on the acid. So we've got chloride for hydrochloric acid, nitrate for nitric acid and a sulfate for sulfuric acid. In reactions with metal oxides and metal hydroxides and acids, a salt will be made as well. So for example, we could use calcium oxide, react this with sulfuric acid, and we would make a salt plus water. Again, we name the salt in exactly the same way, use the name of the metal which is calcium and have a look at the acid it's sulfuric so we make a sulfate ok 
calcium sulfate and water. If we did an example of a hydroxide we could make sodium hydroxide react with hydrochloric acid and we would make sodium chloride and water. Incidentally sodium chloride is like the salt that you are used to seeing on your fish and chips. Okay, sodium chloride. Finally, if we were to look at the metal carbonates, we could use an example for a carbonate. So we could use iron carbonate, for example. React that with nitric acid, where we would make a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. So the salt's the only bit that changes. So we would make iron, and in this case, nitrate plus water plus carbon dioxide. So naming salts is actually pretty easy once you follow the rule of just using the name of the metal, having a look what acid you're using and deciding whether it's a chloride, a sulphate or a nitrate. Here's your chance to have a go at a few of those equations. Try and complete the word equations and then come back and see if you got the answers right. So pause the video now. Sodium hydroxide plus nitric acid, the salt that you would have made would have been sodium and because you're using nitric acid it would have been nitrate and in this reaction you have water produced. Calcium plus hydrochloric acid is a metal and an acid that would have made calcium chloride and this time the gas given off is hydrogen. Here we've got calcium carbonate plus sulfuric acid so we make calcium sulfate plus carbon dioxide plus water. Just as a tip, when you see the word carbonate, that gives you a hint that carbon dioxide is also produced. And finally, iron oxide plus sulfuric acid. Here we would make iron sulfate plus water.